Hello, everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday to you. Um, happy October. Wow, it's October already. Crazy. So, um, thanks for joining me. Um, and if you're not able to watch the live version, if you can type in replay, if you're watching the replay, that would be great. And if you've missed any of my videos, go ahead and check them out on YouTube at Karen Prechtel Coaching and subscribe. I'd love that. Um, so today's topic, um, I'm reading this fantastic book. Uh, it's about, about the Four Pillar Plan by Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. And I'm sure I'm messing that up. I'm sure I'm messing that up. Hi, Judy. Hi, Pamela. Thank you, Judy. Um, and it's so it's so awesome. And it's like four pillars, basically. Move, exercise, move. Eat, nutrition, relax, right? Because we all forget to relax sometimes. And sleep. And what he's basically suggesting in this book is those four pillars need to have balance. So you don't want to have, I'm exercising seven days a week, two hours a day, but I'm eating like crap and I'm sleeping four, four hours a day. That's not balance. So if you find balance in the four pillars, you're going to really notice results. Okay. So I thought I'd break some down for you, um, share some of what I've learned so far from his book. And um, the one area that I thought when I was reading recently, it's just, uh, it's so crazy, is processed foods, you guys. It's an epidemic. We're eating way too many processed foods. Like if you go into your cupboard right now, you'd probably be shocked how much processed food you actually have. I know I was. It was crazy. Um, so processed foods are super convenient, right? We're always in a hurry. And so why are they so bad? You know, so what's the big, what's the big whoop? as I used to say a long time ago, why can't I have processed foods? Well, I'm going to share a few reasons why they're not good for you, and then we'll get into a couple of tools on how you can eliminate them from your diet, okay? Or start to make small changes to get them out of your diet. So processed foods are loaded with sugar. Or the evil twin, the high fructose corn syrup. Hide in there, but he's there, or she's there. And research actually shows that Processed foods are responsible for 70, 70, or 70, of added sugars in the average diet, 70. It's kind of shocking. So another thing is that processed foods strip us of our fiber, which I had no idea. And fiber is amazing. And why is it so amazing? When you have a diet high in fiber, you, number one, it's lots of good things, but one thing, if you're thinking about weight, is it helps you feel fuller longer. So you feel fuller longer, you eat less. <laughs> That's why fiber is so important, and, and a myriad of other reasons. It cuts your um, type 2 diabetes risk, lowers your risk of heart disease. There's so many reasons why you should have high fiber diets, okay? So the chemically altered foods have been stripped of their fiber processing, which is crazy. So leading to quicker digestion, which can make it more difficult for your body to feel full, so you eat more. So I was really surprised in this also. So another reason why processed foods aren't so good. Another one, they're altered to be addictive. Okay, let's think about all the yummy things that are uh, processed, because there's a lot. And that tagline, um, what is it that you just can't eat one that lays potato chip there's there's actually um altered to be what they call hyper rewarding um processed foods like potato chips are chemically altered for that hyper rewarding um where the the neurotransmitter dopamine dopamine is hits it when when you consume it it's just like wow that feels good and that, that dopamine just kicks in so it's addictive they, they actually do this to addict you to the processed foods. Um, also, sodium levels, whew, way high. They just jack up your sodium levels. If you turn on the, and look at the label on sodium, look how much sodium is in processed foods. It's ridiculous, okay? And then also, which I found very interesting, is they the processed foods sabotage your sleep. I'm already a light sleeper, and I can't gamble with that, okay? Um, <laughs> so when you consume, especially close to bedtime, Processed foods can make getting a good night's sleep next to impossible. 
So if you do it, you may find you may find yourself tossing and turning as your blood, as your body really struggles to deal with the sudden spikes and crashes in blood sugar produced from digesting high levels of refined carbohydrates. So what is the answer? Okay, and Dr. Chatterjee uh, feels it's all about the quality of food, which I completely agree with. Quality. So he believes that it's not just about eating too much food, which we're doing, it's that we're eating the wrong type of food. So we're eating large quantities of low quality food. So if you go back to what I said earlier, you're eating a ton of processed foods that are stripped of fiber, so you don't feel full, so you eat a lot more, right? So Dr. Chatterjee is, Chatterjee is convinced if we focus our attention on quality foods, so really whole foods, live foods, Many of our problems, including type 2 diabetes, you guys, that is type 2 diabetes we have perfect control over, you know, through diet and exercise. And obesity will go away. So quality foods is really where it's at. So he had a really great tip. So how do I unprocess my foods? Well, all you have to do is remember the number five. Now this may, you may sit there and go, oh God, I have, that's like so overwhelming, but the number five. So when you go home tonight from work, or if you're at home right now at lunch, go in your cupboard, look at the labels on the back of your foods. If they have more than five ingredients, they're highly processed. So get rid of them, right? Off they go. So that is just remember the number five. The second tip, in remembering the number five, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to Costco, when you go to uh, Trader Joe's, Gelson's, Whole Foods, whatever, don't be fooled by the front of the label, the pretty coloring, all organic, this, this, blah, 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 blah. You know, they do that because they're really good at what they do. They make you pick it up and throw it in your cart. Instead, pick it up, flip it around, and look at the ingredients. Number one, is there five, more than five. Okay, then just put it right back, right? So know the number five and read the labels. Those are your two things. Now, I know if you're watching this and if you're watching the replay, you're probably thinking, Karen, that is so much, right? I mean, I'm looking at my cupboard and I have got a lot of crap in my cupboard, a lot of processed foods. I'm a mom, I've got kids, I don't have time to not serve processed foods. I get it, I understand, we're all super busy. Start slow, that's all I'm saying. Start slow, start to eliminate slowly. What can you eliminate that's processed from your diet? One thing, just one thing, throw it out, right? Just start one thing. I guarantee you that's gonna really make a really huge benefit in your health and then slowly start to adapt these new behaviors. Start to learn how to cook. I'm cooking, me, and I hate cooking, <laughs> but I feel so much better, so much better. And a lot of people ask me, Karen, why are you talking about these topics? You're a mindset coach and speaker. Why are you talking about nutrition? Well mindset is everything we do so it's not just about weight loss you guys it's everything we choose in our life or don't choose in our lives so I encourage you when you're thinking about this to quiet the inner voice that has a default response of I can't because okay shift that mindset where your new default is I will and this is how. You know, this is a journey. Remember, this is not something, okay, I'm, I'm stopping processed foods for one month. This is your life, you guys. This is your life. So now that you have this information, it's a matter of what you're going to do with the information that's gonna make the biggest impact in your life and your family's life, okay? Start slow. What's the one thing you can eliminate today from your kitchen? What's the one thing you can eliminate from buying ever again that's processed? Your body inside is gonna really thank you. You'll probably start to notice things immediately, but I guarantee you later on in life, it's going to really make an impact, okay? It's your decision. Shift your mindset. What's that new default? I will, and this is how I'm going to do it. And ask your friends to help you. They hear you saying, I can't because. Get some accountability. Get some accountability. If you need it, <laughs> message me. I'll help you. All right? Okay, everybody, let me just make a quick shout out. We got Pam, we got Judy, we got Gina, we got Terry, we got Susan, 
Lynn, Lynn, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. And Nicole, woo, look at all the gals. All the gals are there. Where's my guys? Okay, you guys, you gals, reach out to the men in your life and say, come look at this video. Let's do this together, okay? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I love this journey that we're on together. If you have any questions, if you need help, reach out to me. You can reach out, message me here on Facebook, my website, wherever. You'll find me. You'll find me. Okay? We're in this together. You're not alone. You're never alone. Okay? All right. Have a fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you next week. All right. Talk soon.